Hey guys, thank you for clicking on my video here. Um, I'm here to show you guys how to make audio work in Source Filmmaker. I know a lot of people have questions out there and it's even on forums on uh, Steam Community on uh, you know the certain size that Valve accepts. But um, I found a, you know, for all Vegas Pro users, I found like an easy way to do this, um, you know, if audio is not working for you. And I, I can also show you another method um, or, you know, that I've learned from uh, communities out there on Steam. But yeah, this is what I've done, you know, to make audio work. Um, but yeah, hope it works for you guys too. Um, it does for me like 100% of the time. And for those who like animate out there on Steam community, um, don't get me wrong, it's easy to, to have the audio present while you're animating. So you can like know, so you can have like phenomes uh, or the character talk while the audio is moving, you know, so that the character is in sync with the audio. You know, and it makes it easier for um, makes it easier for animating. But yeah, I'll show you guys right now. So I have an audio from one of my favorite movies called uh, "Let's Go to Prison," and uh, it's the scene where you know he talks about his father and all that stuff. So you guys will hear in a second. So I'm gonna take that audio file, and we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, drag it straight into uh, Vegas Pro down here. Turn it up. And you can hear the audio of the of the audio sample. I wanted to start here. It took a lot of guts to do what you did. Nobody's ever stood up to me before, except my old man. I'm sure he's a great man. I killed him. I'm gonna kill you the same way. <laughs> oh, Leonard, bastard. All right, so I did a you know quick trim there, and I dragged it to the beginning so that it starts right over there, and it'll sound like this from the beginning to the end. Took a lot of good. Double click, it highlights the whole, uh, all of the content that you want to render. And you go to file, and you go render as. The main thing you have to focus on is making sure that it's a wave sample and that it's this size right here 44,100 hertz 16-bit stereo PCM I think that's what um, that's the size that valve accepts uh, we'll just call this oh actually before we start naming it um, I just want you guys to know that we're saving it to steam library this is where you have to save it in order for it to work steam library steam apps well you don't have to put it you can put it anywhere else as long as it's this size and it's a wave file Steam apps, comment, source filmmaker, game, user mod, sound. So I'm going to say that again. Steam library, Steam apps, common, source filmmaker, game, user mod, and sound. That's where you're going to say it. Now we're going to title it. Uh, let's go to prison. Alright, so we're going to close that. To exit, and we're gonna minimize. Uh, by the way, if anybody wants this uh, background, um, I'll have it in the description for you guys, so you guys can download and save as your desktop too. It's a pretty awesome pick. I don't know what anime. If you do know what anime, please do post it in the comments below. So we're gonna open up Source Filmmaker. All right, and we're gonna create a new one called Let's Go to Prison. We'll say official. I'm going to put it 30 frames per second. And we're going to create. Nice. Now that we're on the timeline, we're going to scroll down to music. I'm going to right click. And we're going to go add clip to track. Let's do that again. Go scroll down. Scroll down on the timeline. And we're going to right click. Add track to uh, clip to track. And you can see here that you have the let's go to prison where we saved it previously uh, let's go to pre uh, let's go to prison and if you click on it it's gonna work it took a lot of guts to do what you did nobody's ever stood it took a lot of guts to do what you did. push open and just to test to see if it is working we're gonna push space bar to play it took a lot of guts to do what you did so like I was saying earlier 
to have the audio present while animating makes it a lot easier because you can extract phenomes for the character so that the character's mouth moves to the words. But we also gotta make sure that we take out uh, sound effects because sound effects also makes the character's mouth move. Not actually talking to dialogue. Alright, so now that we have the sound working, um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And if it is, you know, please do like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my fan base here on YouTube. Show the love, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.